Good morning from the Greenbelt Campground in Greenbelt, Maryland. My dad and I are just about to begin day three of uh, going into the city. We've been here for about six days and we've been going into the city every other day. It just works out. Uh, the dogs aren't used to being left alone anymore, so Shelby gets all nervous and whatnot and dehydrated, so we give her a day off and then go back into the city. You know, they're not used to this kind of every day into the crate deal, but it's beautiful here. As you can see, there are plenty of fall colors and it's a little overcast today. Yesterday was uh, pretty chill. I did some video editing and then we went to go see the James Bond movie at the mall, uh, Spectre, and it was pretty good. It's amazing how they can keep a franchise like that going and still uh, very entertaining after how many decades. Um, wearing my uh, Alaska Life sweatshirt today. Uh, normally I'm not a hoodie person, but uh, our friends Kyle and Nicole sent this to us and I'll be damned, that's a pretty comfortable hoodie. One nice thing that I've never liked about hoodies is the neck. I'm always like cutting right here to uh, make the neck feel right. But this one feels good. Plus it's brand new so it's still got that kind of soft fleecy feeling on the inside and I guess it's in the mid 40s right now. But it's a beautiful day. Um, the plan is to go to the Capitol building. I reached out to our congressman Don Young and he said not him, but one of his aides or assistants got us some uh, reservations for a tour of the Capitol building. So if you ever come to DC, uh, contact your senator or congressman and see what they can do for you for tours. It's well worth it and if you want a White House tour, you need to do that one way in advance. We couldn't do that because we didn't really know exactly when we're going to be getting here. So we gave it as much notice as we could. and. We got the Capitol building and not the uh, full-blown White House. I guess I'll leave something for uh, the next visit. Other than that, just looking to be a good day. And I don't know what else we'll do in the city. We'll just take it as it goes. Okay, we've taken the metro and we got off at the Capitol South exit. We're getting pretty comfortable on that public transportation and now we're walking towards the Capitol building. Okay, we've made it inside the uh, visitor center and uh, security is pretty tight. Man, there's a ton of security out there. I guess that's understandable. Standby. We have a walk-up line for people to fly standby, and anyone uh -huh. who misses picking up their reservations in time, okay. just hand them out to the public. Oh, cool! So when you're early, it's a good thing. Until then, feel free to explore in here. There's a restaurant back in there, it's cafeteria style, and there's a museum behind the big white statue. All right. If you need restrooms, they're in all four corners. Thank you so much. You're Thank you. Enjoy. Much. Pruning. That is before my time in Alaska. Well, folks are anxiously lining up to begin the tour. I personally prefer to be at the tail end of the path for these types of things. I hate 
be having people push up against me and the line is starting to move and I guess we're gonna head in and watch a video it's all undergoing reconstruction but at least we get to see that Well, my dad and I have just been discussing politics and how corrupt the system is, and uh, it's making us hungry. So I think we're gonna try to find some uh, food trucks, and uh, then we're gonna go uh, check out the Postal Museum, because somebody has a little bit of an interest in the Postal Service. In case you didn't know, my dad was a letter carrier for the better part of my life. And what is this building? Is that Union Station, you think? is a secret on a postcard. So this is a collection of just unique postcards that people have submitted and put little secrets on. I'm going to show you a few of them. One of my biggest fears is that I will never be excited on Christmas morning again. This one's pretty deep. I feel like I'm losing me in this downward spiral. If you want to pause and read some of these uh, phrases and words that she has on here, it's pretty interesting. show you if you want to send a postcard in to this program there's the address and you can uh, just pause the screen and write it down and here's a little summary and like I said pause the screen so you can read it You are directing the machine to sort letters into the right bin. The letters will be taken from there to the processing center nearest their destination. If you make a mistake, that letter will get mixed with the wrong mail and get delayed. Well, I'm having a hard time getting past that postcard exhibit. Just the uh, things people are revealing and uh, talking about, very deep and uh, 
gosh. A lot of emotion put onto those cards. Right, like I said, one of the most fascinating things I've seen here in DC. We're in the gift shop right now. My dad just found this book uh, about the post secrets. So I can't buy you guys a book, but there is a book, and I find it on Amazon if you were uh, fascinated by that exhibit. I'm just still bored by it. We are back. Uh, just had the Uber give us a lift here. That's kind of a confusing because there's Lyft which is like Uber. We just caught a ride with an Uber to the campground and uh, I think that was our last trip into the city. There was one thing I didn't get to see which I kind of wish we would have but I had no idea that the uh, Declaration of Independence is in the uh, archives. Yeah I guess I didn't put too much thought into it but we realized that uh, this afternoon is like wow we could have gone and seen that that would have been kind of cool but we are going to just uh, chill out for the evening uh, uh, oh at Union Station we had a uh, Shake Shack that was my first time having one of their burgers I've had Shake Shack uh, a shake from there in JFK Airport back on our uh, trip to Spain and Turkey but their burgers are good a little greasy but every burger has to have a little bit of grease. So it is going to be a uh, night here. So we're just gonna call it quits and just hang out and probably watch some movies.